Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a balanced rack. I can't see a 7 through a D. I would have Demi Volt. And there could be some other 8 letter plays. If I can't bingo, I'll probably be looking to play off the V. I've got two scoring tiles. And I may be able to play off both of them. Vom is good. I've got Vomit on my rack and also Move. And if my opponent changes, I'll probably play Vomit. Just wondering if there are any other 8s. I've seen Demi Vault through a D. No D played. Do any of these help me? Can't see anything with the U. What about the P? No. The B? No, and the Y. I've got the LY and ILY ending, but motively not good. So can't see anything there. Now up by takes an E at the end. I've got an E. So I could play move and up by. I can't see anywhere for vomit. I could play motive. Slightly dangerous because it's inviting a high scoring play in column 8. And motive takes an E in front. But move also allows for a high scoring play in column 8. I think I'll go for the extra points. Motive for 30. Quite balanced. Through a D, I would have anhedral. So second rack on the trot where a floating D would give me a bingo. Quite a few floaters to consider. I'm going to look at the ones in up by first because I think my opponent may be drawn to the motive floaters. The P looks like it goes quite well with this rack. Ballinger through a P and a G. Can't see anything with just the P. What about the B? I've got the A, B, L, E ending. Not seeing anything. The Y doesn't look useful. How about the M? No. And the T. I don't think Antheril is good. I'll just check that. I'm fairly sure it's not. It is good. Okay. Wow. It doesn't really ring a bell, but I guess I checked it for some reason. Antheril is good, and I have that through the T of Motive. Could easily be blocked. Do I have anything through the I? Or the V? Not that I can see. Now what about a play in column 8, getting my H doubled? Obviously Anthral would be preferable to that, but supposing Anthral, Anthral is blocked by a play in column 10, do I have a high scoring play in column 8? No, I don't. Not which gets the H doubled. I have heal. For over 30 points, which is quite nice. Opponent taking quite a while on these opening moves. Down to 16 minutes already. I think motive may take an A in front. Actually, I think it doesn't. I think it's motion which takes an A as well as an E. I shan't check those for the moment. Now, do, is there really nothing through this P? I have the pre-prefix. I've got the A-L ending. Well, I'm not seeing anything. And the U, not much use. D 
difficult to play parallel to up by because of the three consecutive consonants. Wow, look at this. Anthral remains available. Just. So, Anthral for 72. Let me just take this back in case my opponent's provided something through the R. Or the A. He, he hasn't, so I can get this down. Anthral for 72. Pretty good. Fairly balanced. Could easily be a bingo here. I have spoofing through the P of up by. Now, is foolings good? I think it is. It is. Fantastic. So I've got foolings through the L of anthral. And I've got spoofing through the P. That's been blocked. My opponent's bingoed. Blausius takes a B at the front and possibly an F. I'm not sure. However, foolings remains available. And footings. Putting slightly better because Foolings opens up column 15. Do I have anything else? Roofings would get the, the F doubled. Wow. This may not be good. Let's find out. 82 points. It's good and I draw the blank. Fantastic. So I'm 70 points ahead and I've got the X and the blank. So... Can I get a third back-to-back -back bingo? Quite a few floaters on this board, quite a few bingo lanes. Floating vowels, probably more useful than consonants. And I have the I and the E in lousiest, and the A in ra. Sextennial through three floaters, that's not going to happen. So, does... An E or I help me. Well, it doesn't. I'm wondering about extantal through an A. It doesn't play on this board at the moment, so I, I shan't check it. Double N, not too great. However, overall, this is a, a good position to be in. If I can't bingo, I'll be looking to play off one of the N's and the X. And hopefully getting about well, 30 points or more. Not obvious how I can do that. Let me run through the alphabet and see if anything comes to mind while my opponent is thinking about his move. seen anything good yet. I'm really looking for, for eight letter plays through any floater. And vowels likely to be present in a bingo, either on the board or with the blank. So that's the non prefix. Really not seeing anything here. The un prefix. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything. 39 points for my opponent. He's only 30 points behind, so although I've had two bingos, I'm not massively in the lead. Now look at this. My opponent's provided the perfect spot to get rid of precisely the tiles I'm looking to get rid of. NIX, this is a pretty good Rackley, slightly vulnerable with LNT to drawing one of those tiles. But Nix is nice because it gets rid of the duplicate N, gets rid of the non bingo X, scores over 30 points, and doesn't block the floaters. So I'm going with this. Pretty good. I surely have a bingo here. I haven't even seen a bingo, and I just look at this rack and think there is one. But is that just optimistic thinking? No, it's not. I've got relearnt in row A, and that's a triple word play. What about a play beginning with the K? That would score a lot more. Cantiles. Fantastic. 
and they're all one point tiles so I don't have to look for a higher scoring play there may be a better play because placing an S in the bottom corner invites a play in row O but not so much invites as there's likely to be more plays by my opponent in row O ending an S than if I were to have a different tile in that spot 12 minutes on my opponent's clock 47 tiles in the bag and 17 minutes on my clock I have a lead of just 50 points but I'm on the verge of bingoing so if my opponent can slow down I may be able to put a bit of daylight between him and me Cantiles is blocked that's okay because my opponent has slowed down just 16 points for him and I have got relearned is there anything better any double double lanes don't think so and this is the best spot for a triple word square because it's not providing any floaters for my opponent to bingo through so a relearn for 74 not bad normally the V and the W are unpleasant tiles to have on your rack but the rest of the rack is pretty good in terms in terms of those tiles so I should have quite a few opportunities to to or options to play on this board I can see immediately that I have viewy on my rack not sure if that plays anywhere but if it does it would get rid of every non bingo -y tile on the rack I've now got a lead of 130 points and there's just 37 tiles in the bag so with about a third of the way two-thirds of the way through the game one-third left I note that viewy can play in row D making yar that would be quite nice providing just the V as a floater and taking out the flousiest hook do I have anything down from the O of no low I don't think so I have ovine but any player in column 15 really does need to hit the triple I think I have Vinu on my rack great I'm back I had quackle open and minimized I was analyzing some games from a recent tournament so the program automatically closed I was looking at this rack and I've got Jivey and that's better than than viewy because it scores more and it takes out column one and the W is actually quite nice on this rack Wow fantastic I th I have I think I have Diwanis not sure if there's anywhere for that and I'm not even sure if the word is good but I think it is but overall it's a very balanced rack I've got a hundred and thirty point lead I'm in a really strong position so where are the floaters on this board what about the B of up by can't see anything through that and the S of roofings no I'm not seeing anything there so how about the G of Jargas? I've got the ING ending I've got Dewing D-E-A-W-I-N-G but that doesn't take an S windages fantastic I am sitting on another bingo could be blocked but may not be quite a wide open board windages fantastic so supposing that is blocked do I have something else and the W is my scoring tile so I'm looking to see where that can play can't see anything down from the O of no low gosh I was just seeing if windages played through the G of roofings as well but it doesn't so nowhere great for the W nothing beginning with the Y or either Y so hopefully windages in column 3 will remain available I have due in column 13 DEAW just over 20 points and leaving a rack leave of AINS not bad but a long way behind windages 
eight minutes on my opponent's clock, 16 on mine. So I've played this game pretty quickly. Not my intention. Sometimes if you see the move you want to play early, there's no point in in spending extra time. And sometimes you just have tricky racks which, which eat up the time. That hasn't been the case in this game. Eye of Lousiest, also available as a floater. Don't think that helps me. Row D, a seven-letter bingo lane. Wow, opponent takes out my windages spot. How annoying. Fortunately, only scores 18 points. And has provided a spot for me to play Wad. And the reason that's good is that Dines is a really good five-letter set. Board slightly tight. However, column four available for plays ending ES. I hope I don't have one of those with my current rack. I saw Diwani's, which doesn't play. Does Diwani's, which may not be good, have an anagram? I've got the time. Let me just, for my own peace of mind, check Diwani's. That's fine. Does it have an anagram? I note that both ES and ED plays can you know, work in column four. Swained. Wow, is Swained good? No, okay. Right, that's a shame. It looks like it ought to be. So I'm, I'm thinking about playing Wad because the rack leave of Dines is really good. It plays well in column four for five letter plays. Not too much available by way of floaters, but it's a, a super resilient rack. Almost anything I draw will will mean I've got a, options in terms of what I play without any of those options being to change. Okay, so what for 21? Not a good pickup. I don't have that seven-letter bingo I was hoping for. So let me look at the situation. I'm 140 points in the lead, which is a huge lead to have with just 20 tiles in the bag. Opponent needs two bingos. And that's going to leave... Well, it's going to use half the tiles in the bag. So he needs to act quickly if he's going to do that. I don't think Cinder is good. And there's really not too many floaters to consider. I can't see anything ending in A. Just 16 points for my opponent. So do I have anything beginning with O? I don't really want to burn the S. I've got on side 24 points, but it's providing two useful floaters. So what can I what can I do different to that? So the, the C is a tricky tile because I can't play it underneath something like relearned and play parallel because there are ch is the only two letter c word r and i available as floaters can't see anything through those the a available as a floater can't see anything through that the C is quite a bingo -y tile, so it's the duplicate D which is really problematic. Nothing goes in front of XO. I'd like to hang on to both of my vowels. So is there somewhere I can play C and D or D and D? And the trouble I have is, is scoring. I just can't see anywhere to play those tiles. Well, I could play CAD and DI, but the score, about 10 points, that's pretty rubbish, unless you're fairly sure of bingoing, which I'm not. 
12 minutes on my clock, so I'm slowing down a bit now. This is a tricky rack to think about. So how am I going to resolve this? And I don't want to hang around too long. Gosh, just not seeing anything. Well, what about playing seeding? It's 20 points, which is good. It wrecks the rack, but that's okay, I think, because it's helping to expedite the end of the game. It is providing quite a hot spot in column 8. And the I underneath the triple letter square, vulnerable to the Q, but the Q can only play one way. And my opponent's looking for bingos. I, I don't like this. I don't like this. 20 points. What about playing iced or diced in column 4? Twenty-three points, keeping NS. This is much better. This offers very little for my opponent. I am taking out my seven-letter lane, but bingo lanes are more valuable to my opponent than they are to me. Diced for twenty-three. Wow! I didn't. Des well, I I was going to say I didn't deserve that, but um, that's not the right sentiment because I didn't think I don't think dice was a bad play. What I mean is having played off five tiles and wrecking the bingoiness of the previous rack you can't expect to to draw a rack as good as this one so i have snorted and rodents do i have anywhere for them to play no because there are no seven letter lanes on this board how about the floaters does the w help i don't think so how about the a Well, that looks like there should be a bingo. An A with this rack, Tornades. Wow, that just fails. So what about this rack with an S in the middle? No. Oh, well, so I don't think my bingo can play. Nothing beginning with the Y. Bonster, not good. I have E-Rodents with an E. So I don't think I have a playable bingo, but this is a super flexible rack and I have a 140 point lead. Seventeen tiles in the bag, including a blank. And the Q and the Z. Let me look at the vowel situation. 10 out of 24 and look at that if you think about the u as being a bad vowel there's only seven out of 24 nice vowels wow 40 points for my opponent that's a good score for him what am i going to do with this rack motived is good so i could play odd for 25 decent score decent rack leave not opening anything up. Can I do better? There is an argument for turning over tiles to get the blank. But the bag is vowel light, so I don't want to end up with six or seven consonants. However, that's exactly what I could end up with with this rack leave. However, big difference between six consonants and seven. And the E is going to get me out of trouble. Plus, there are floating vowels on the board. Nine minutes on my clock. I'm. Am I going with odd? It would be nice to play off one more consonant. 25 isn't a huge score. Well, I'm looking at pod. I've got pond. Maybe that's better. 18 points, it's, a f it's fewer points, but this rack leave is better. It increases my chances of drawing a vowel. Can I do better than pond? 
No, I'm going with this. Not great. I do draw only consonants. I have scoring tiles. But without consonants, they can be tricky to play. So I have four through the A of Anthral playing on both of my scoring tiles, but only scoring nine points. Wow, great score for my opponent. So he's got 40 points for Rock, 37 for Quag. He's now only one bingo behind. Nine tiles in the bag. I still think I'm a massive favourite to win this game because there are limited bingo lanes. And I think I could survive a bingo in any event. So, can I scrape over 20 points with this rack? I've got Fuse onto the S. Do I have anything down from the O? No, I don't. What about column three? Nope, not seeing anything there. Wow, tricky stuff. Eight minutes on my clock and my opponent was using up all that time earlier on and I had used hardly anything. We're now almost neck and neck in terms of how much time we've used. And I'm in a tricky spot. Nine tiles left. Neither my W or F goes next to this eye of diced. And I do have the F for flousy, flousiest, but the C blocks that. I have Elf, but I can't get that to play twice. Just struggling to see anything here. I have Swerf on my rack, but I can't see anywhere for that apart from making Eds, which I don't want to do. Wow, am I missing something? Well, let me just play four. It does get rid of my scoring tiles. There's nowhere for those scoring tiles to score on this board. I am retaining the Val, which could be useful. I don't like this play at all. So, why don't I play where? It does get over 20 points. I am retaining a scoring tile. There are vowels on the board. Where for 21? Great, I draw one of those vowels. I also draw the Z, which gives me scoring potential and denies my opponent the scoring potential that it has. So I have Fritz through the eye of Diced hanging on to my, my own eye. Six tiles in the bag, remaining tiles pretty bingo-y. However, very few bingo lanes on this board. The Y are pretty unuseful floater. I guess the S of proofings is the most likely. The T looks like a floater but it isn't for an eight letter play. So super tight board. Opponent may have a bingo. If he bingoes through the S that will be face value. So hes I don't think he's going to win from this position. He's only a hundred behind but I think he's going to be trailing even after a bingo. And would only have six tiles on his rack. And I've got the Z for score. So I've got Fritz through the eye of Diced. And Frizz. But do I have anywhere which scores more? I have Fra onto the A, but that's retaining the Z. My Z can go above the A, so do I have a something I-Z-E word? I-Z-E-D word? 
I don't. Opponent plays off five tiles, so just one in the bag. Two new floaters. Has he provided somewhere for my Z? Well, I could just play ZA. 22 points. Can I do better than that? I certainly can't play parallel to Outman. Is there a longer play which ends with A? I don't think there is. Now, my Z could go in front of the I of Dirige. Still don't have a play. I quite like playing Fritz. Because if I played just ZA, the rack would be very clunky. I'm only drawing one tile. I think there's a good chance I could go out with IRS plus one. And I don't think the floating A and N are particularly dangerous. Famous last words. With the remaining tiles, I guess the opponent could have a play. Or Brescia. Yeah, or Brescia would be the likely one with an E in the bag. Should I be blocking that? Well... Fritz scores 17, four minutes on my clock. So that would take me to 4.44. I'd be 96 ahead. I would survive Obricia, even though the B gets tripled. 82 points, I would survive it. Okay. But should I be blocking it? Should I be blocking it? I don't think so. I think if my opponent plays Obricia, I play underneath it for a good score. I'm going with this. Do I draw the E? I don't. So, opponent does not have Obricia. He may have an alternative bingo, but it's not going to win. He'll get 8 on count back. So, he needs 88 to draw. Wow, I thought he'd done it then. I thought he'd done it then. 88 was less than I thought he needed to, to win, but unbeaten, how much does that get? 80 points, so okay, that's um, that was close. Final score, 436 to my opponent, 444 to me, a winning margin of 8 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. That was Quite a funny end to the game. And funny because I didn't lose. Now, this was my opponent's... Wow, he's got up Braze, I think. Yes, he does. He doesn't play that. Plays up by. I have Motive, which looks fine. That looks pretty good. Yep, a few bingos there. Plays Ra. And I have Anthral. Wow, another nice rack for my opponent. And he bingos with lousiest. Ah, did I? I'm not sure I thanked my opponent. Now, this was my rack. And roofings was my play, I think. Yes, it was. Opponent plays Feck. Now I have Nyx for 35. Plex for 64 available, but burning the blank. Opponent plays no low. And now I have relearnt. Plenty of other bingos available. Opponent plays Jargas. I have Jivey for 51 points. And so now I'm now 130 points in the lead. Opponent's rack. He plays Dirige. <laughs> Diwanis is playable. Oh, wow, look at that. Parallel to Dirij. Oh, wow. That is remiss. How painful. And also Bedorwins, beginning with the B, and Windasses through the S. Wow. And I'm especially disappointed with Diwanis having identified it. 
Column two, bingo lane. Okay. I play Wad. Opponent plays Sal. No bingo here. And I play Diced, which I think is fine. Possibly sided better to prevent parallel plays. Opponent plays Op and starts to, to draw me in. I'm only 100 points ahead now. I've got this great rack, but can't see a bingo. There isn't one. I play Pond, and I still like that. F6, Depot. Okay, that's quite nice, but burns both blanks. Opponent has Quag, which was a good score. And I really struggled with this rack. I wanted to play off F and W, but I couldn't see a way of doing that and getting 20 points. Ended up playing where for 20, 21. Opponent's rack plays out man. And now we're in the pre-end game, one in the bag. Opponent's got unbeaten on his rack, which Tsar would have blocked. And I could have played Riser at end 12, but that would have opened row O for a seven-letter play. So I went ahead and played Fritz, and although my opponent bingo, this was a 100% winning play, because, well, unless my opponent could have got the B doubled, but I don't think he could. Let's check. No, unbeaten was the only bingo, and it wasn't enough. So, fantastic game. I got off to a huge lead of about 130 points, which my opponent then clawed back, and he, in the end, he... He bingoed out to to lose by just eight points, so a really tight finish. I'm still not sure whether Fritz was a better play than Tsar. Let me know in the comments below if you think that was a howling blunder on my part. Quite possibly it was. So I hope you enjoyed watching that game, and I will see you next time.